Kim Minch with a weekly update from the ICCAC. In this week's edition, we will be covering the Athletes of the Week, the results from the Soccer National Championships, some basketball scores from this weekend, and we'll preview the Graphic Edge Bowl happening this weekend. First up, the Athletes of the Week. This week's Men's Basketball Athlete of the Week is Tony Collier from Ellsworth. Collier had 50 points and 9 rebounds in the game against Labette. Collier was 16 for 27 from the field, 6 for 10 from the three-point line, and sunk 12 of 14 free throws. The Women's Basketball Athlete of the Week is Abigail Asuro from Iowa Western. Asuro scored 39 points and 19 rebounds in the game against Cloud County. Asuro is now averaging 23.2 points per game and has signed to play with West Virginia next year. Next, the Division I Men's Soccer Tournament took place November 18th through the 23rd in Tyler, Texas. In the semifinals, Iowa Western took on Yava Pei and won 1-0, with the lone goal coming from Nick Melville in the 12th minute of the game. In the finals, the Reavers trailed 1-0 against Tyler the majority of the game until Faslo Alihazdik tied the game in the 64th minute. The game went through two overtimes without a goal scored, sending them into penalty kicks where the Reavers took the championship 3-1. Iowa Western finishes a perfect season with a record of 25-0. On the women's side, Iowa Western represented the ICCAC in the Division I Soccer National Championship that was held November 18th through the 23rd as well in Melbourne, Florida. In the semifinals, Iowa Western went into penalty kicks with Laramie County and won 4-2 to send them to the championship game against Navarro. In the finals, Iowa Western won easily 3-1. Goals came from Celia Jimenez, Brianne Richards, and Nicole Goins. Iowa Western finished out the season 22-1 for the season. Congratulations to both teams. Over the weekend, number two Indian Hills preserved their perfect record, escaping a near defeat against Northwest Florida State 89 to 88 in overtime. Sophomore guard Marcus Posley made a three pointer at the buzzer to win. Ellsworth took on Labette in another very close battle and lost 103 to 104. Leading scorer for the Panthers was Athlete of the Week Tony Collier, who had 50 points and nine rebounds and eight blocks. On the women's side, Marshalltown and Ellsworth traveled to Kansas City, Missouri to take part in the NCC Penn Valley Classic. On Friday, Marshalltown took on Lewis and Clark and won easily 73 to 38. Leading scorer was forward Mackenzie Gott with 15 points, followed by Jasmine Howe with 13. Ellsworth took on NCC Penn Valley and won 79 to 64 also on Friday. On Saturday, Ellsworth lost a close one, 66 to 59. Marshalltown pulled out another big win over NCC Penn Valley, 77 to 42. Leading the way for the Tigers was Kaylee Sick with 21 points and nine rebounds. Finally, the 2013 Graphic Edge Bowl takes place this Sunday, December 8th, starting at 11 a.m. with two games being played in Cedar Falls, Iowa, at the Unidome. Game 1 will feature Iowa Central taking on number 7, Rochester. And in Game 2, number 3, Iowa Western will take on number 5, Butler, in a rematch of last year's national title game. Tickets are all general admission, $13 for adults and $8 for students, and will be sold at the west entrance of the Unidome Dome on game day. As always, check us out on our website at www.iccac.org for more information and all things sports in the ICCAC. Check out the Graphic Edge Bowl game website for more information about the games and the Unidome at the www.thegraphicedgebowl.com. Also, check us out on Twitter at ICCAC Sports for up-to-date scores and more.